The nature of web applications has been changing over the past five or so years. Gone are the days of those clunky web 2.0 pages, and now we have these sleek, fancy single page applications, which seem to be more resilient to attacks. So what can we do as penetration testers to be able to adapt? Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. So a question that I get asked very frequently is what web application penetration test course should I take? And I never quite have a clear answer to this. And this is due just to one primary reason. There isn't any. There isn't any reputable course at the moment that will teach you all the modern up-to-date relevant skills that you need to become an effective web application pen tester for modern web applications. But why is this? Well, originally when we saw the adoption of Web 2.0, most of the web applications were built on a LAMP stack, which stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. These were designed to have functionality at the heart to enrich the web experience, and as a result, came with security vulnerabilities. And that's why you're able to trick the system to do things like your SQL injections, your local file inclusions, or upload a web shell. And this is what most courses seem to be designed around. However, now we're seeing the rise of Web 3.0, which is based around modern web application stacks, which are built from the ground up with security at the forefront. The most common one I come across in my work is the mean stack, and this stands for MongoDB, ExpressJS, Angular, and Nginx. So take Angular as an example. There can still be these types of vulnerabilities like your SQL injection, cross-site scripting, etc. However, for these attacks to actually work, you need to leverage poor programming practices from the developer, because by default, these languages will pass data in a more secure way with proper sanitation and encoding. A developer will need to intentionally use insecure methods for these attacks to be viable. It does happen, but it's more rare and difficult to find. However, with these new stacks, there has been an addition of new vulnerabilities. Some of these include weak JWTs, prototype pollution, no SQL injections, and more. There's a current gap in the training market. There's no course that covers modern web application attacks. Nothing that will teach common weaknesses and mitigation techniques, as well as covering new modern vulnerabilities. And it doesn't look like it's going to get filled anytime soon, because the two major players I see, being Offensive Security and eLearn Security, both have updated their web application pen test courses this year. While the update partially addresses these issues I've raised, it's fundamentally the same course with some newer additions. They're still focused on the same old stacks. Pentester Lab also addresses some of these issues, but only really scratches the surface, and it's not a full course, it's just these micro challenges. However, as a side note, I've been seeing web application pen tests shrink in size and scope because of the out of the box security features within these stacks which could be a dangerous thing if too many software vendors and companies rely on too much. Personally, I'm seeing more value in both a combination of secure code review along with penetration tests to get a more fuller picture. Anyway, those are just my thoughts and I hope you found them insightful. I'm sorry I don't have a clear course recommendation for you. However, I think this is something that we're going to need to work together as a community to really share our experiences on. So leave your comments below and let us know what you know. And of course, leave this video a like if you found it helpful. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.